السلام علیکم فرینڈز ویلکم ٹو انادر ویڈیو آف ڈاکٹر زاکر نائک ویر برادر آس یو کوشن دیٹ یو سی دیٹ مسلم رول انڈیا فار تھاؤزن ایئر بٹ سٹل لاٹ آف ہندوز آر لیونگ ان ہندو اٹ مین دیٹ ہندو از اے گریٹ ریلیجن واچ دس انٹرسٹنگ ویڈیو مائی نیم از چندرن گڈ ایوننگ ڈاکٹر تن مہادیو ہاؤ آر یو سر اینڈ ڈاکٹر زاکر ہاؤ آر یو سر I have deep respect for you. I've heard you in the YouTube many a times and I know who you are, sir. Okay. You said about the ratio of conversion. Dr. Zakir said India was ruled by Muslims for 1,000 years and India is still Hindu. America and Europe may become Muslim countries because of you. But 1,000 Zakir Naik. Naik means up in Malay, no? <laughs> For 1,000 years from now, Hinduism will not turun, but will Naik. For now, India will be Hindu. For even for 1,000 more years, even if the world is broken, up tomorrow, a Hindu will pray Nama Shivaya. Thank you, sir. The brother asked the question that I said America, many people accepting Islam, and Muslims ruled India for 1,000 years, yet 80% are Hindus. Naik means up. That was trying to prove that Islam wasn't spread by the sword. That answer I give in context, that if Islam was spread by the sword, then the Muslims, when they ruled India for 1,000 years, they would have forced everyone to become Muslim. They did not do that. Regarding Hindu, brother, Hindu is a geographical definition for a person living in India. By definition, I am a Hindu. Hindu is a geographical definition and I will remain a Hindu. It is not a religious definition. According to Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, the word Hindu did not appear in any of the Indian literatures until the Arabs came to India. This word Hindu was given by the Arabs. Hindu means living in the land of India. Even today when I go to Gulf countries, Saudi Arabia, they call me Hindi, Hindi. Hindi means Indian. So Hindu is not a religious definition. It's a misnomer. Therefore, Swami Vivekananda said that Hinduism is a misnomer. They should be called as Vedantist. So if you say Hindu, yes, India will be there, inshallah. And I'm proud to be an Indian. And the people living in India are called Hindu. It's a geographical definition. It is not a religious definition. Nowhere will you find in the Veda, the Upanishad, the word Hindu. It all came after the Arabs gave this word. The right word should be Sanatar Dharm or should be Vedantist. So this word is a misnomer. So geographically, I am a Hindu because I live in India and it will remain there. But as far as the religion, the fastest growing religion, Throughout the world, today is Islam, not only in the Western world, even in the Eastern world. Throughout the world today, the fastest growing religion in the world is Islam. And inshallah, inshallah, this religion will keep on spreading, as you said, Naik, going on top. I know that. Someone told me that. And in Sanskrit, Naik means a Mujahid. It means a hero and means a Mujahid. One who strive and I am a Mujahid. Hope that answers the question. Welcome back friends. I hope you enjoyed the video till the last minute. The brother asked the question that uh, uh, a Muslim, you said that Muslim rules India for 100,000 years, for 1,000 years. But still uh, all the Indian are not convert to Muslim. It means that the Hindu is a great religion. So look at the answer of Dr. Zakir Naik. That Dr. Zakir Naik said that when I was talking about 1,000 uh, years rules by the Muslim, so it means that you accept that Islam is not uh, spread by the, this word. As uh, some of the communist and uh, you know, some of the uh, feminists, they are making a nonsense statement that Islam is spread by this word. But reality is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala clearly mentioned in the Holy Quran, La ikraha fi deen. Now, uh, in Malaysia, before uh, 1,000 years, in Malaysia there were non-Muslim, all were non-Muslim, but now Malaysia, I think, uh, 
60 to 70 percent of people now they are converting Islam. So which Islamic army went to uh, Malaysia to spread the Islam? No. And now Muslim rule India for hundred uh, for thousand years. If Muslim rule India for thousand years and if they use sword, every Indian will be a Muslim. But now we have seen that there are majority are non-Muslim and less number of uh, community they are Muslim. So it you uh, from this you acknowledge that Islam is not spread by the sword, but it was spread by the great teaching of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and by the noble holy Quran and the companion of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Today we have seen in different part of the countries, different part of the world, the grave of the companion of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Why? They left their home, they left their children, they left their education, their income, each and everything just to spread the message of Almighty Allah that there is only one Allah and no one will be able uh, to be God except only Almighty Allah. So the uh, brother is trying to say that uh, Hindu, uh, it means that Hindu is a great religion but Dr. Naik, Naik replay him that Hindu is not a religion, this is the geographical definition of Hindu. Hindu mean a person who live in India. Even if a Muslim live in India, that is also called a Hindu. Hindu doesn't mean that non-Muslim, but Hindu mean that a person who come from Hindustan, from India. So it's just a geographical definition. Do not be in happy mood that uh, thousand years Muslim rule India and now still India have a large number of Hindus. So it doesn't mean that this religion is a great religion. No common example that if we look at if we see that if someone uh, if you do party in an open area a lot of fly will be come to it and if you uh, keep honey in a, a open place less number of monkey uh, less number of bees will come to that honey so it doesn't mean that if uh, a large number doesn't uh, mean that uh, you are at the right path no for the right path for the right selection it directly connect to your heart. Whatever your heart wants, you will be, whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants from you, you will be on the right path. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give hidayah, to whom he give hidayah, and to whom he doesn't give hidayah. So my dear brother and sister, Islam is the current, in the current area, if you look at the ratios from all over the world, Islam is the largest religion and Islam is the largest growing religion. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with the teaching of Islam and with the teaching of the Holy Quran. I hope you will like this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.